Father, I adore you. I'm thankful for every day, every new thing, every bit of wisdom, the changes that you have made in my life. Lord, have your way. In Jesus' name. This upload is going to be another dream interpretation. And I'm just going to get right into it. <clears throat> In this dream, there had been some kind of devastating world event where people were almost in a real life purge. <clears throat> Excuse me. My brother, whose name means red hair, and his girlfriend was given birth to a new baby. And because of the New World Order, his girlfriend decided to join in with the madness that was going on in the world. She discussed her plans with us, which was to go out into the world and kill other people's kids in the aspect of saving her own. As she got dressed and ready to leave, I asked her about her mission and she explained. I left her presence and went home and locked my house doors and windows to ensure no stranger can get in. Though my kids weren't with me, while I was there, an intruder came to my house trying to get in by trying to use a drill to remove the screws from my door and I held the screw and somehow the screw reversed to be put back into place to be put back in the place on the track and the person put another tool through the spot with intention to shave down the lines in the screw to smooth it out so that it would just slip through and I took another tool and I stabbed the person's hands through the space and the person stopped they were gone and I was able to take the door off to rearrange the door for better protection. Then I somehow went on the balcony of this place. I looked to secure the windows and either said or heard, are you afraid? As if I was surprised at my own actions to protect my home from the people who were planning to do things to people that they didn't want done to them. And that's where the dream ends. Let me give the definition for purge. someone or something of an unwanted quality condition or feeling 
The second definition is to remove a group of people considered undesirable from an organization or place in an abrupt or violent way. And a small portion from Wikipedia. It says, in history, religion and political science, a purge is a position removal or execution of people who are considered undesirable by those in power from a government. Another, their team leaders or society as a whole. A group undertaking such an effort is labeled as purging itself. And so to move on. So, my first portion is, I'm reading from the part where they had, there had been some kind of devastating world event where people were almost in a real life purge. My brother who names means red hair and his girlfriend were giving birth to a new baby. And because of the new world order, my brother's girlfriend decided to join in with the madness that was going on in the world. She discussed her plans with us, which was to go out into the world and kill other people's kids in the aspect of saving her own. Now, in this portion of the dream, my brother represents the character in the Bible Esau who did not prioritize God's inheritance and sold his birthright for a bowl of soup. Esau was a firstborn who was by law or a custom of the times to be next as a successor in the death of his father. But due to lack of care or concern for the position, he sold it for something as small as hunger, a bowl of food. God is not pleased with people who give up major family roles to satisfy minor or instant gratification. So for my next point. All right, so the part of the dream where my brother and his girlfriend were giving birth, I reference Bible verse James, James chapter 1, 14 through 16. And it reads, But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then, when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. So to move on, so the next part, patience and faith for vindication. A Bible reference, Revelation 13, 10, 9 through 10. Excuse me. 
Aries, if anyone has an ear, let them hear. He who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He who kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. This simply means however you treat people in this life will be your reward. So for many, what you do unto others, you are in return doing these things unto yourself in the end of things. So be wise. This next portion, I titled it, Trust in the Lord. It reads, Ezekiel 20 and 38. I will purge you of those who revolt and rebel against me. Although I will bring them out of the land where they are living, yet they will not enter the land of Israel. Then you will know that I am the Lord. The Lord is saying that while the world may appear to be going through a purge, that if you are a true believer, a true child of God, you are safe with them. Now to move on. The next point is the mission. I reference Bible verse John 10:10. 10, 10. It reads The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I, who is Jesus speaking, said I came that they may have life and have it more abundantly. So the mission that she stated in the dream, that's the assignment of the enemy. I said the assignment of the evil one. <clears throat> and that's what that portion of the dream represents. Now, it 
In this portion, as she got dressed and ready to leave, I asked her about her mission and she explained. I left her presence and went home and locked all my doors and windows in my house to ensure no stranger can get in, although my kids weren't with me. I titled this portion, Close the Doors. Doors can be people, places, or things. For this portion I reference Isaiah 26, 20. And it reads, Go, my people into your rooms and shut the doors behind you. Hide yourselves for a little while until his wrath has passed by. So our next point, I titled it The Fight. In this portion of the dream, while I was there, an intruder came to my house trying to get in by trying to use a drill to remove screws from my door. I held the screw and somehow the screw reversed back into place. I'm going to read Matthew 20 and 16. And it reads, and this, this, Matthew 16 and 20, this symbolizes the reversal of the screw. And it reads, So those who are last now will be first, and those who are first will be last. And as I continue, the screw boat had managed to get off track, and the person put another tool through the door to shave down the lines in the screw to smooth it out so that it would just slip through. And I took another tool and stabbed that person's hands through the space and the person stopped. Praise and worship is a warfare strategy. But I reference Matthew 24, 43. And it reads, But understand this. If the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, 
he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. I'm just going to add for this portion. Close proximity, prayer, and communication with God increases discernment. And all that means is the more you spend time with God, the more you trust in God, the more you devote to God, the more he will allow you to see and to know. God sees all and he knows all, he knows everyone's thoughts can read everyone's heart. And when you're receptive to how God communicates, He would allow you to know when someone is not being honest with you. And to move on, so this portion of the dream, I titled it uh, Protection. And this portion of the dream, I s said they were gone and I was able to take the door off to rearrange the door for better protection. Doors are a metaphor. The word doors. <clears throat> Our metaphor for choices, opportunities, decisions, people, and places. In this dream, there was a fight. <laughs> In this door. But you know, life experiences provide you with better ways to make wiser decisions. And that's what the rearranging of the door for better protection represents. And all the fight, the ruckus that was going on at the door, that's considered warfare. Mm -hmm. And uh, my praise and prayer, <laughs> that was me stabbing the hands of the intruder. But to move on, my last point, I titled it, Fear Not. I reference Bible verse. Psalms. 53. And 2. It reads in the Passion Translation. I, I love the fact that I put in the word balcony and look for a Bible verse and this one came up. So in this portion of the dream, <clears throat> it reads that I somehow went on the balcony of this place. I looked to secure the windows and either said or heard, are you afraid? As if I were surprised at my own actions to protect my home <clears throat> from people who were planning to do things to people that they didn't want done to themselves. Mm. 
Now, Psalm 53, 2, it reads, The Lord looked down, the Lord looks down in love, bending over heaven's balcony. God looks over all of Adam's sons and daughters. looking to see if there are any who are wise with insight and who search for him, wanting to please him. What I thought was even more powerful was the full verse. And I'm going to go ahead and read it. It reads, the title of this portion is called The Wickedness of the World. Starting at verse one, and it ends at six, there's only six verses. It reads, only the withering soul would say to himself, there is no God for me. Anyone who thinks like that is corrupt and callous, depraved and detestable. They are devoid of what is good. The Lord looks down in love, bending over heaven's balcony. God looks over all of Adam's sons and daughters, looking to see if there are any who are wise with insight. Any who search for him, wanting to please him. But no, all have wandered astray walking stubbornly toward evil. Not one is good. He can't even find one. Look how they live in luxury while exploiting my people. Won't these workers of wickedness ever learn? They never even think of praying to God. Soon, an unheard of terror will seize them while they're in their sins. God himself will one day scatter the bones of those who rose up against you. Doomed and rejected, they will be put to shame, for God has despised them. Oh, I wish our time of rescue were already here. Oh, that God will come forth now arising from the midst of his Zion people to save and restore his very own. When God fully restores his people, Jacob will rejoice and Israel will be filled with glad. This Bible verse pretty much sums up the whole dream. And all this dream is really saying is that
The people have lost their way. In the story about Esau, the story was about Esau and Jacob. Esau was the first one. Esau was originally the one the blessing was supposed to go to. Esau was the one who was supposed to um, receive the blessing from the father, from the their birth father to carry on the legacy of living by God's ways. But a lot of people disown God's ways for hunger. And even in the Bible, it'll describe how, in comparison to Jacob and Esau, that God was not pleased with Esau. And so, in God's wrath, the world will appear to be filled with madness. But just know that this is where the patience of God's children will be rewarded. And exercised. But I love how in this dream, we're towards the end. <laughs> First, this also speaks to the portion where I said I either said or heard. Are you afraid? That speaks to how God is within us. That he is within our hearts. Or he is within my heart. For the children of God, God is in our hearts. And he is our protector. He is our defender. And for those who seek him, and seek his word, and find wisdom, and gain understanding,
So as I wrap this up, Heavenly Father, you're amazing to me. I pray that for those who have ears, that they are able to receive your word. And I pray for those who do not have ears yet. I pray that you align things in such a way where they are able to understand and receive. For their good. It is in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen.